Hello. All right, this should be a short video. Today we'll be talking about functions, statements, and expressions. Um, most of the statements, well, most of the, well, kind of spoiling it a little bit, but most of the things we've seen so far are statements. So most of the statements we've seen so far are statements. Um, statements are whatever kind of thing in Rust that finishes with a semicolon. Whatever finished with a semicolon is a statement. And statements, by default, do not return a value. Okay? In comparison, expressions uh, don't end with a semicolon. So, no semicolon. Or, have, a, have the return uh, keyword. And by default, they return a value. So, and I want to introduce expressions and statements in terms of functions. Okay. So to get started, let's create a, another function. The syntax syntax for the basic syntax for functions are fn that defines a function. Uh, you can give, you can give it whatever name you want. I'll call mine stuff. And the these brackets determine the curly brackets determine the start and end of a function. So right here we're in the function body and you can do pretty much whatever you like. Let's do let's print something. Let's print inside of function. Um, by the semicolon you see that this is a statement. Okay. It's a statement that prints to console so you can Kind of think that it is, it is an expression. Uh, well, the print is an expression, but our calling of it is a statement. So you couldn't define this print to a variable x, you see, because the print isn't returning a value to x. Anyway, so let's print inside a function. Let's come right here in main and let's call stuff. Once again, a statement. If we come here, and we do a cargo run inside a function. Okay, so that's basic operations of functions. Let's try right now to pass parameters onto our function. Let's create a parameter x, give it a value of one, and let's pass x onto stuff. The syntax for that is we create x here. We explicitly define its type. So here, let's say that x is a u32. Actually, let's call x a u8. Passing a u8. And, and then here in this print statement, let's create a formatter and pass x in. So we'll say inside our function, and we're printing the value x. Cargo run, inside function, 1. All right. Uh, so that's how to pass how to pass parameters into functions, how to define functions. Right now, let's see how to return a value from a function. And in this case, you'll see your first expression. To return a value, uh, we use this syntax. Let's say a u8. We want to come here, and we want to do x plus one. Okay. So right now, you'll see that I'm not adding a semicolon at the end of this line. This means that this line represents an expression. So it returns a value outside of stuff. Okay. So let's come here. Let's make x mutable. And let's pass the value of x onto stuff. Let's then print, copy this print statement. Go here. Let's say outside of function. x is its value. Actually, let's say after after function, now let's come before x, not before x is defined, let's go here and say before function. Now if we run this, we'll see that before the function, x had the value we defined, 1, inside the function, still 1, after the function, because we return the value from stuff, uh, we have the value 2 assigned to the mutable variable x. Okay, so this is an expression, another way we could do this is by using the return keyword, in which case it's optional. You can either use semicolon or you or you can not. 
and it works just the same. Okay, so we get two. Just to prove prove my point to you, if I put a semicolon, you can see that we get the exact same result. Okay, so um, let me see if there's anything else. Um, no, I think we'll end it here for now. There are a couple more important things in terms of functions. Uh, talking about ownership, but I think we'll keep that for another video. So, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.